Hey there, One Tribe and friends. About once a week, we try and get in touch with you as an eldership team just to let you know what's going on in our lives and in the church. This week, we thought it would be a good idea to look beyond our own immediate situation and to look at the wider horizons, including what's happening in terms of the COVID pandemic globally. Not just that, but also to be mindful of and praying for our brothers and sisters in the United States who are going through particular pressures at this time. And then thirdly, to be praying for and also to hear from our good friends Sheshi and Trudy Kaniki. Uh, Sheshi and Trudy lead God's Tribe Church in Dar es Salaam, and God's Tribe is a part of our wider family of churches called Advance. But not just that, but they're dear friends who've played a special part in the One Tribe story. And um, Sheshi was recently diagnosed with brain cancer, and so he's been with us here for a few weeks. And I know that many of you have been praying, many of you have been visiting, many of you have been sending love in different ways. And many of you have been providing meals, and all of that is just absolutely magnificent. Thank you so much. It is the church in action, and it's what it means to be partner churches on a mission together, and uh, to be brothers and sisters in Christ. And so this week we thought it would be great to hear from Sheshi and Trudy, but um, we get the opportunity to listen in and to process and pray with our dear, dear friends. So over to Sheshi and Trudy. Hello, family and friends from across the world. Greetings to you from Nairobi, Kenya. We've been here for about three weeks now. God has been good. We're so thankful for One Tribe Church, which has hosted us so well, cared for us so well. They've been amazing in their care and support of us during this difficult time. Thank you so much to all of you for your care and your love and your support and your prayers and your generosity, uh, your giving of money. Thank you for so many wonderful things you've done for us during this season. We really, really appreciate you. I had my surgery just over two weeks ago praise god it went well i'm recovering well and we are now waiting for the next stage of treatment which will involve radiotherapy and chemotherapy we could be in nairobi for another two months or so we're also praying that god would miraculously heal me. He can do it in an instant. He's able. But whichever way God chooses to work, we are in faith that he is good and he will receive glory through this situation that we find ourselves in. I've been asked the question during this time, why do bad things happen to good people. I'm grateful for that because it's true that we do try to live a good life, uh, but anyone who really knows me and speaking personally, knowing myself, I know I'm not that good. But beyond that, the reality is bad things happen to all kinds of people. It's very clear in, in the Bible that being a follower of Jesus Christ does entail suffering, does entail pain. The Christian life is actually a war, it's a battle. We have a, a real enemy called the devil who wants to destroy us and we take hits along the way. So in this, I need to trust that God has a purpose. We need to see ourselves as soldiers, and we need to keep fighting. And we're grateful that you have fought with us and that you will continue to fight with us. We ask that you do that. We love you so much. We appreciate you. And we will be praying for you. God bless you. So most of you that I don't know personally, I feel like I know you now because 
I've been sending updates for a while. So it's nice to send this video along with Sheshi. But uh, I'm just so grateful. I think personally, I've just been humbled by the prayers and the support. Um, last week was hard, it was very hard. But um, many of you started to think about the children, all four of them, and just texting and asking what we were thinking about the kids. That really just moved me. So we are very grateful. I'm very thankful for your prayers. Even when we felt really low and unable to pray, we felt carried by your prayers. So thank you for continuing to pray. The journey is still long, but we're trusting God that he's with us. I've been encouraged. I just wanted to share this verse with you. I've been encouraged by Isaiah chapter 41, verse 9 and 10. And this is what it says. I took you from the ends of, this, of the earth. From its farthest corners, I called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And this has really helped me in the last couple of days to know that there is a God who is helping us. Um, we feel like this battle is not just Shesha and I and our children and our family, but there's many of you who are in this battle. And God will strengthen us and He will help us with this righteous right hand may we all be encouraged as we fight this battle and actually ultimately god is going to win this battle thank you so much for your love and prayers we continue to trust that god will do amazing things well thank you so much for your time we love you bye for now <laughs>